first and foremost, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I am Rio. So today, as you can see, this is my first official day in Istanbul, Turkey. Today is procedure day. Right now it is 7.28. I gotta get downstairs really, really quick. Last night was a bit of a rough night. I didn't go to bed till maybe like 1 a.m. And it was a struggle even to fall asleep. And I slept for about a good four hours, but then I woke up at 5 a.m wide awake, struggling to go back to sleep. So about 5.45 a.m. I said, just scratch it. And I just got up and just continued with the day. So I brushed my teeth, got myself together, did everything I needed to do. I got hungry and I went downstairs looking for breakfast like six something a.m., which was too early. They didn't start serving at 7.30, which is in a minute. So I'm gonna go down and get some breakfast. And then we gotta be in the lobby to head to the clinic at 7.45 a.m. Today's the day, I know everything's about to move super, super quick. I'm gonna film as much of it as I can. Let's go, today's procedure day. The hotel breakfast left quite a bit to be desired. Turkish breakfast is very different. They essentially served us a platter of deli meat and cheese. However, this bread is called secret bread and that was amazing. They also gave a side of bread or buns, whatever you want to call it. So I ended up requesting eggs and I made a sandwich with this cheese and the bread and the eggs. That was really good. And that's what I ate for every day for breakfast while I was there. And then, of course, we headed to the clinic. Most of the staff spoke decent English. Some were better than others, but it was comforting to have some level of communication. One thing they did, which I found a little strange, was draw blood. I guess they was taking it for tests of some sort, although I never really got results. I guess I can assume everything was okay. Uh, and sometimes there was a conversation happening around me that I just didn't understand, but I paid attention to everything. <laughs> The name of the clinic I decided on is called Ashley Tarshan, but I'll speak more about that in a later video. Now it's time to prep and shave the donut area. This hair transplant method is the FUE. If you saw my hair transplant journey, you would know that I previously had an FUT several years ago, which is also known as a strip method. So for that reason, I have a scar at the back of my head. Now, usually they would shave your entire head for an FUE, but I had a special request to not shave my entire head so they could see what my previous grafts were and provide some density. I just had this fear that if they shaved my entire head, they would have been placing new grafts over pre-existing grafts, which would have made me feel like I wasted money on my first hair transplant. So I just wanted to add density to my previously existing grafts and lower my hairline. Now it was time for the local anesthesia. This is the part that everyone says is the most painful, but I honestly didn't feel that way. <laughs> After the first injection, you hear me say, that's it? Because I was expecting something much, much, much worse. They thought I was saying that's it as in like, you know, we're done. But I was just surprised that it wasn't more painful. Everyone, I suppose, has a different pain tolerance level. Some things may bother people more than they'll bother others. I guess this is just one of those things that wasn't painful to me. Now, I did feel some spots more than others, but all in all, it wasn't that bad. The lady that you see administering the anesthesia, that's Ashley Tarshan herself, which is who the company is named after. I was surprised that she was actually doing this herself. I asked some of the other guys that were there at the same time that I was if she did theirs, and they all said no. So I'm not entirely sure what that was about. She actually did the entire anesthesia process herself, and then she started the harvesting, which I'm assuming she just did to ensure that I was numb enough before passing me off to a tech. I wasn't able to capture the harvesting process because they were only able to have the two techs doing it, and of course me. So there was nobody that can film it for me. Anyway, let's continue with the anesthesia. Okay. Are you exciting? No. My side. Yeah. Are you nervous? No. Uh, I'm okay, just a little bit. Elim hafif, elim hafif. Just a little. Mm -hmm. 
Her hand is soft. Bunu da tarif ettiğim gibi zaten. 5 Daha sonra kalsın ki. Tansiyonu kaçtı giriş tansiyonu? Ben giriş 15'te şu an biraz önce 17 idi şimdi 15. 15. 15. Tansiyon mu? Hı -hı. 15. Dişten çıktık lokal yaptık ya. Belki o yüzden dedik. Hoca baktı şeylerine e, orada yapan lokallere ve bir şey söylemedi. Bu Hayır tansiyonun 15 acaba hep mi böyle gidiyor? Her şeyi çekiyor aslında. Ben sorduğumda herhangi okay. bir tansiyon aslında yok. Nefes. Take a deep breath. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Sakal yok değil mi? Sakalı var aslında. Sakal da var. Hı -hı. Sen şimdi sakal lokalinden ne hazırlıyorsun? Sakal lokal 4 sesli bir lok hazırlıyoruz. Bir tane jet veriyoruz. İki tane jet. Jet sesi de şey ondan hafif kullansın, az kullansın. Tamam mı? İki sesli jet. Hı -hı. Take a deep breath. Nefes. Thank you. When she injected local anesthesia, you should take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Arsı var mıymış? Pain. Do you feel pain? Mm -hmm. Okay. Çünkü fazla yapmak var. Tam son şeyini bir getirebilir misiniz bana? Hmm. Hi, hi. Nitin, sana arkadaşlar. Şuraya bir tansiyonumun giriş tansiyonu bir söyler misin? Bir de bana normal bir kalem getirin. 15-16. 15-16. Kalem çizim kalem. Okay. Perfect. Arkadaşlar çizim kalemi. Tamamdır. Yok kalemi. Abi teke dikkat. Sorry. Is good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam. Before hair transplant, mm -hmm. eski teknik. Evet. <gülüyor> Genelde hepsi puzzle ile yaptırıyor. Bu da orada yaptırmış. What did you say? SMP. Aye. Yeah, foot. Ne You want to go to bathroom? No, SMP. SMP, ha şey, hocam simülasyon soruyor. Onu söyledim ben. Süper olur. Yani çizgisi çok Hı -hı. inceledi. Daha Sıkar az için iyi olur. 
Yes, she did. She didn't do anything, but she just poking with her hand. Now take a deep hand. Painful. Little. Little. Mm -hmm. Now she will give you serum, this ingredients, uh, antibiotic, painkiller, pain anti-swelling, anti double cocktail, okay? Mm -hmm. Today no pain, no swelling, no pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. So far, <laughs> so good. Mom, it's like seventy. Salam, so far. Normal. Yes. Tebrik ediyorum. Gayet iyi. She congratulations to you. You are going well. Mm -hmm. Was it painful your first operation? No. No? No. Each operation is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Do you feel pain here? Mm -hmm. Pain here? Mm -hmm. Benim bir reta kaynak ve tüm kafam uyuştu geçen. Kötü bir his gibi, beton gibi oluyor kafam. Öyle kötü bir duygu. Uyuştuğunu hissediyorum yavaş yavaş. Evet, you feel now? Mm. Yes. Mm. Do you feel or not? Not yet. Not yet. Hadi hissetmiş. Hissediyorum. Maybe it takes time. Yes, back to the model. Tabi, tabi, tabi. Of course. 
送来。嗯嗯、the swollen lip you see here was because of some dental work I had done, but I'll talk about that in a later video. Once we were done with the harvesting, it was time to eat. This was a dish that appeared to have beef or some kind of red meat in it. I do not eat red meat, which I explained to them after seeing it in front of me. I didn't want to be rude or insulting to their culture, but I just wasn't going to eat it. The guy that was assisting me the entire time told me that it would be my first time, which I found a little disrespectful. If I don't eat it, I don't eat it. I haven't ate beef my entire life and I wasn't going to start now. I explained to them that I only ate chicken, turkey, and fish. He kind of didn't understand what I was saying or what I meant, which he eventually got it. Uh, but long story short, I didn't eat that. But I had many other options right in front of me, like this spaghetti. Now, it was a little dry, tasteless, and cold, but I ate it. The other thing was this soup, which I'm guessing was dill, or at least tasted like it. It wasn't bad. Then we had this plate full of cabbage and salad and this stuffed pepper. Now, the stuffed pepper was hitting, but I couldn't get with the cabbage and the lettuce. It just wasn't for me. And then they eventually brought me some chicken. It wasn't seasoned that well, and I actually thought they would have brought it prepared the same way that the beef dish was, but I appreciated them for bringing it anyway, and I happily ate it. One thing that was a little odd is that there was this lady, who I believe was a nurse, that literally stood there and watched me eat the entire time. And I was told that one of the reasons that they do that is because the hair transplant process is so time consuming and exhausting that they want you to have the energy that you of course would need to go through that process. And I understand that. I just feel like it could have been done a different way. She literally stood over me and watched me eat and told me what to eat and how to eat. And it's like, yo, I'm a grown man. I, I, I know how to eat my food. I just feel like it could have been done a different way. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not comfortable with somebody just standing over me and watching me eat. That's just, that's not for me. And then it was time to create the hairline. You get to? Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Spread. There you go. <laughs> We're going to do some hair transplant mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Get me right. Yes. <laughs> and this is where I ended up not being too happy. Remember that special request I mentioned earlier? The one about not shaving the top of my head? Well, Fred is a guy I gave it to. And he agreed and confirmed that the top of my head would not be shaved. I told him all about my previous transplant and the graft that I previously had. I thought we had an agreement. And in this moment, he did whatever he wanted to do. I had no clue that he was about to do this. And I was not happy about it. He did me dirty. You scared on someone? Yes, he's gone. Is there like stubble so you can see where the graph, can you see where the graph has to go? It's like, bruh, if you were going to do this, then you should have shaved my entire head. You shaved the one area that I was mostly concerned about, exactly where my previously transplanted grafts were at. This is not what I wanted you to do. And if you were going to do this, you could have at least warned me so I'd have knew. So here, right? We will do the implantation of the shaved area. Shaved area. Okay. Still here. Let me see the other one. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you did this, you might as well shave the rest of it. As long as you mark where the grass got to go. It will grow, don't worry. All right, that's it. <laughs> a little from here to implant between. I ended up getting 3,000 grafts transplanted. I'll explain in a later video why I got that many, but to give you the short version, I didn't want 3,000 grafts, nor did I feel that I even needed that many. Homie just shaved an area where I had pretty good density and coverage. I didn't need grafts there. Oh. 
All right, that's it. Take it. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Then it was time to draw the hairline. In my opinion, this is probably the most important part of this process. So we had to get it right. Let's make some noise. Make some noise? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Of course he ended up playing copyrighted music, so that's it for the original sound. But from here, he just finished making his initial markings of the hairline and also made some markings of where the graphs were supposed to go, along with how many graphs in each area. pre-planned and sketched how I wanted this to look so when I was able to see it I knew exactly what needed to be changed so basically I wanted to lower the corners of the hairline a little bit the top of the hairline was good but the corners were a little bit too high for my liking I was wanting to achieve a slight slope of the hairline a little curvature downward opposed to upward essentially how it used to be before I started receding Last look to make sure it's good. This is the part you want to get right. There's no going back from this if it's slanted or crooked. Make sure it's straight. Then they took me to this room. I'm guessing to promote for them on IG or something. Nobody asked me if I even wanted to do this. They just told me to follow them and this is where I ended up. I wasn't feeling it at all, but I did my best to give them what they were looking for. Then it was time to get this surgery going. And after about five or six hours, I was all done. She applied the antibiotic creams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can feel mm -hmm. a little bit burn. Yeah, a little burn. Yeah, mm -hmm. caught me off guard. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's good. It's caught me off guard. Okay. By the way, uh, when you wake up to tomorrow mm -hmm. in the morning, you will see on your clothes something creams. It will be this cream. It's not a blood, okay? Don't worry, because some people, when they wake up in the morning, they worry some, something. And what happened in my head, uh, don't worry about it, okay? Okay. And also, uh, this hotel, uh, oh, get to the our station. What's that, the hotel? Yeah, this hotel, put up your, uh, put down. 
and uh, this hotel get used to this situation because you know it's not normal uh, when you do something like that in the other hotel it's gonna be something different right right okay mm -hmm. not I'm back in my hotel room. It's actually really late at night now. It is 12.06, past midnight. As you can see, it was a very, very long day. I'm trying to keep my head upright because I'm instructed not to bend down, which is very, very hard to do. I guess they forget that us men, when we use the restroom, we look down to pee or else you're making a mess. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna be doing this video. I think I may just keep the day separate. I'm not entirely sure. That may be the best way to not make one super long video. I don't wanna make a video that's like 40 minutes to an hour and that, that might get a little bit tiring for some. Some may really like it, enjoy it and consume everything in one video. Some may get a little bit tired of watching. So everyone's different, but I think I'll split them up. It might be a little bit easier. I know I haven't really gone too much detail about everything yet as far as watching this video you saw the clinic that i went to the name of the clinic is ashley tarshan or tarkin i think in turkish they say it's tarshan um t-a-r-c-a-n i believe i'm not entirely sure of how you actually pronounce it in a separate video i'll explain why i chose this clinic um i'll explain how i found out about the clinic and what kind of like convinced me to actually come to turkey and do this that may be his own separate video of why i chose the clinic i actually had a room service again tonight i think i'll just go ahead and put in a clip showing you guys what i had and tell you a little bit about that right now chicken sandwich with fries <laughs> the chicken inside of it is so tiny it's like the smallest piece of chicken in there um and then each side of course has it very tiny piece of chicken i asked them to bring ketchup for the fries but i guess they forgot but this is my second night with room service and my second meal. It's fairly cheap too, so it's not super expensive, so not bad, but we gotta see how it tastes. The room service stopped serving at 10 p.m. and I think I placed the order like right around 9.30, so I caught it right before it cut off. I think the meal I had last night was better, but you know, food is food. Got a little bit of leakage going on right there. They did pretty well with the hairline. If you saw the first video where I said I was coming here to get the hairline, this is somewhat how it looked naturally. The top was a little bit higher and then it kind of curved in around the dome. That's how my natural hairline was, you know, when I was younger. So I think they did a good job replicating it and I'm swollen so you can't really get the full, full gist of it, but they did a good job. You would have seen in the video how I didn't know they were gonna do this. And I'll explain more about this here later um since it's after midnight i gotta of course be going to sleep soon but i just wanted to give you that hands up i think i'm going to cap this video off tomorrow is a brand new day i think i'll be putting a lot of the stuff that happened today in this video so you would have already saw it by now of course but as you saw i was able to film a lot but the only reason i was able to do that the only way i was able to do that was by giving my phone to other people and asking them to film it because everything is moving very very quick thanks for watching the video if you're new to the channel this channel that you are watching is mainly about fashion and style and lifestyle hair is a part of our lifestyle it's a part of our life so i wanted to share this journey with you guys but this channel is mainly about fashion and style and if you like fashion and like looking presentable with the clothing that you choose to wear feel free to check out some of my other videos check out my other content and if you like it be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications so that every time i upload a video you're going to be notified. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you guys on day two of the hair transplant journey. Peace.